Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on June 15th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew. Where we look at space weather and world weather. Earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting humanity. And welcome. Looking at our sun right now. 304 angstroms. The last 24 hours as that is all that is available from SDO. Solar Dynamics Observatory looking at incoming images here. Plasma jumping off, cresting limb. Sunspot not very active. Outgoing images here, lots of plasma there. Having a quick look here at the incoming sunspot, which will be Earth facing in the next day or so. As well, we do have an Earth facing coronal hole that is leaving right now. Have a quick look here at that sunspot region, top left of their sun, and as well that dark, that really dark patch, bottom right of the sun, that is the coronal hole, and we are seeing that solar wind right now, as we can always expect from a coronal hole to see that solar wind pick right up. So we are sitting at about 600 kilometers per second, but we saw it jump up to 622 kilometers per second, and that's the fastest we've seen it in quite some time. But it's been steady now for the last 12 hours, 500 kilometers and stronger. Looking here at the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Spiral, as in last video I did show what was coming our way, and here it has come to pass already. Solar X-ray flux remains steady. Geomagnetic activity is raised to, to a G1 storm today kp index of five and that's because of this solar wind right here looking at our geospace magnetosphere movie and i did speed this up because it would take a long time for all of this imagery but this is our planet right now being affected by over 600 kilometer per second solar winds and what's interesting is the pressure that we are under and you can see anytime there's an action there is a reaction, and even with our magnetopause, our magnetopause, as you can see there, boom. That was moving towards the back of our planet, and that is a shock from the bow shock. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, still that blackout that we were dealing with, an amplitude of 43 and a quality of 7.8. Earthquakes, very busy planet right now. Just look at it. Just riddled fours and fives. But still, no major earthquake events. Thank the Lord. I mean, really. So looking here, most recent 5.5 .5 to report. South Indian Ridge. As well as seeing earthquakes north and south of Krakatoa there. Indonesia. 5.2 and a 4.5. As well, a 4.5 here to report. Serengeti, Philippines, 150 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.8 there in Tal, Indonesia. 4.7 Papua New Guinea. And then our deepest earthquake today, 4.3, 595 kilometer depth. Levuka, Fiji. As well, a 4.6 here, 10 kilometer depth. Kermadec Islands. Overlooking Hawaii, they've seen a pretty active day as well. 2.8 there, 32 kilometer depth. But we're seeing earthquakes moving towards the Kilauea caldera. And the full rim, there seems to be about three earthquakes all around there. 2.4 and as well a 2.3. So seismicity kind of increasing across Hawaii. Over here to Japan, as well a 4.2 deep earthquake, almost 420 kilometer depth. 4.5 here in Nazi, Japan. 4.8 India, Saparthur, India, 4.8. And as well a 4.8 there, or 4.0 Qinghai, China. 4.4 to report there, Afghanistan. And then a rare earthquake here in Egypt. 4.1 being reported in Jordan. I wonder what is going on there. We do have some pretty volatile political situations blowing up as well. 4.8 here to report Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And then lots of activity here through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. 
spreading both west and east today and some pretty deep ones as well 65 kilometer depth there lots of activity here as well el salvador nicaragua 4.1 4.0 Looking across the United States, 2.8 here in Texas. And as well, South Dakota reporting a 2.6 at a 5-kilometer depth. It's kind of a rare spot for an earthquake. 3.2 there, Mina, Nevada, 2.6. And as well, down through uh, Trey Pinos, California, 7-kilometer depth, a 3.2. A 3.1 reported there off the coast of Oregon. So yeah, across the United States, across the world right now, we are seeing quite an uptick. I would say we're over 350 earthquakes the last 24 hours, and the magnitudes are starting to increase. We've seen many fours and fives. We're also seeing lots of microquakes here over in and around Yellowstone. Northwest, though, we got about six earthquakes just northwest of the lake. And they're all under one magnitude, but they seem to be increasing here over the last 30 days for sure, as I have been posting and sharing with everybody. As well, Steel, Missouri here, reporting a 2.1. Let's have a look at, that was the United States. Let's have a look at Alaska now, 3.7 there towards the continuing swarm. In Chickaloon, Alaska, 3.8, 3.8 here through the Aleutian Islands. As well, South America here. Ecuador, 4.9, 4.5 there, Peru. And as well, a 4.5 here, San Antonio, Chile. Now, that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Appreciate y'all hanging out here. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Looking here the last seven days for earthquakes, we have seen the numbers increase daily. And we are slightly above average right now with about 350 earthquakes for a 24-hour period. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on the quiet regions, mid-Atlantic up into North America, and as well, Eurasia. And more Central America towards Mexico. Mercury retrograde is now done. Now we have the effects of Jupiter and Saturn coming up. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Pacific, Pacific Disaster Center showing Fuego, as well Luatolo, Sangue, Bagana, Nevados de Ruiz, Nevados de Chilean, Nirigongo, Reventador, Suasinajima, Sabincaya, in Peru at Karamiski, and as well Etna putting on quite a display. Languila in Papua New Guinea. And as well, Pacaya in Guatemala. So stay tuned for the volcanic activity report that will be coming tomorrow morning, probably before lunchtime. So heads up, friends and family, hashtag do crew. Having a look here, two tropical depressions to talk about. One in the northwestern Atlantic, Tropical Storm Bill, and as well, Carlos is still alive. Drought conditions and fire conditions continuing through Arizona, California, and through the Central Plains. And as well, very warm conditions and extreme weather conditions now moving through Alberta. As I did catch a little bit of uh, some thunderstorms moving away from Calgary here. Just a quick time lapse that I took holding. You could see it was very convective. And there's a pop-up tornado warnings towards Three Hills, Alberta right now. So severe weather is going to continue through Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba this week and moving eastward with the world weather forecast. Stay tuned. Meteor Earth.
five-day forecast coming right up. But I wanted to show you here the winds over the next seven days brought to you by Windy. Now this is a seven-day forecast here and you can see just a line of moisture and this big low pressure system just grinding and growing in the Alaskan Peninsula. And it's the only one in the northern hemisphere that is that big. And then you look in the southern hemisphere and my oh my, these things are getting huge. A little bit out of control, I would say. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look here at these forecasts that are coming from windy, massive low pressure systems. Look at that one below Africa. Wow. Five day forecast, let's check it out. Of course, starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, it's hot, hot, hot. There's barely any air conditioners left in the stores, fans, rafts, everybody's out and enjoying the summer. So get out there, stay safe, stay aware and prepared too, because the severe weather is a brewing in Canada. So definitely we do have this low moving in, and it passed just over my head today. I'm pretty sure that footage that I took was the center of the low, heading over Calgary and sucking up all that humidity. So you can see low pressure systems going to head eastward and then probably grow to a pretty good size by the time it hit by the time it hits Ontario. So Ontario is going to see some severe weather as well some pretty cool temperatures as high pressure ridge gets a little trapped in behind there from the north pole. And then we do have a tropical depression here forming in the Gulf of Mexico. For this five-day forecast, probably going to grow into a Category 1 or 2. But hopefully nothing serious, but definitely will have quite a bit of rain and winds associated with that storm. Overlooking the Atlantic, you can see things are really starting to ramp up now. That low-pressure system having a good battle with the strong high in the Atlantic. Looks like the jet stream might change here quickly. Overlooking Europe, watch for that low to come right into Ireland and the UK and then crash with another low pressure system coming from Portugal. Low pressure system through Mediterranean, just west of Turkey, still. And then we do still have this stagnant, blocked, low pressure system just grinding up into the Himalayas. So heads up, most of northern India over the next little while because very warm temperatures ahead of that system. Watch for some flash flooding and extreme weather. Very intense low pressure system developing here. As I showed with windy.com, it looks like Meteo Earth is showing the same thing. A very, very strong developing low here in the Pacific and it's going to plant itself right in the Alaskan Peninsula. Watch for all of the moisture to get directed mostly northward BC. Dry conditions continue and very hot, hot, hot on the west coast. No relief in sight here for the next five days. So stay hydrated and stay coolio down there. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Panama. But that's about it this week. No major developing systems. Watch for heavy snow here, higher elevations through Chile. And as well, watch for a system here to develop convergence line on the border with Argentina and Brazil. Could be some pretty intense weather with that. Africa, no major weather changes there either. You do have a traveling westward low there. It's about time. Oh, no, that's heading east again. Oh, well, that's strange. Yeah, they're heading in the wrong direction. Overlooking Africa, watch for cold temperatures to move into parts of South Africa. Overlooking Australia, low pressure system here is going to affect you for the next three days. It looks like it'll finally move out by Saturday but not before throwing some more moisture towards the coastal regions, eastern Australia. And then 
pretty dry across the rest of the continent except for southwestern Perth. Long range forecast, little system moving in there. No major weather changes here for Hawaii. Large high pressure ridge still locked in place and I'm sure all of that dry warm heat from North America is not helping. Watching the interesting systems develop across the Atlantic and as well the Pacific, Antarctic, Indian Ocean, everywhere across the planet right now, watching things really ramp up. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, still watching this massive low develop and eat other lows. Same thing is happening in the north. Interesting twin systems here as well. Thanks for watching today, everybody. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Much love. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.